I wasn't expecting company, but if you stay out of the shrubs and flower beds, you can stay. Give them a wave, Pops, now that you've invited them in. We're two old guys who enjoy playing sandbox and survival games together. I'm Uncle Craig. Go ahead and sit down. Let's visit for a while. Yeah, and then we've got, uh, looks like three, are those vehicles off in the distance or installations? I think just installations. installations good. All right, well, we don't have the lighting improvements that Doc had on before, but that's all right. Oh, hang on. One thing I want to do is make sure the pistons are off. Did it keep that? No. We put a couple things on here. Batteries. Battery the controls. Uh, and so... Here we want these pistons. I want to be able to turn them off, and then I want uh, batteries, the batteries, toggle recharge, and the uh, engines. Uh, not the scanning engines. The rover in uh, toggle on off. Okay, so we'll toggle that on. We'll turn the pistons off, and lights are on. I don't want the magnetic plate to auto lock. 100% for, what is that, power, that's okay, strength is okay, suspension is alright, and friction is okay. Alright, let's try this again. Oops. Alright, so finally got the recording equipment up and going again, so catch everybody up a little bit who's been watching. Uh, we put a little, if you can see it back here, Doc put a ramp on, or not a ramp, but a platform on a piston here. I can't show it very well, two pistons, a little ramp for a new uh, scout that we have right there on the back. And then uh, he was gonna get the lighting fixed a little bit too. We need a little broader lighting. Uh, Hero got his uh, ship fixed, little pod ship fixed so that it um, it can be as a cargo ship. And Hero, did you want one of the batteries to be on recharge or you want them all on auto? Oh, I, uh, I think that last one I need to turn back to auto. I know it was uh, pooling energy from our batteries, so I just turned them all, all oh. off so uh, we don't, you know, run out of juice. Okay. And then, um, anything else interesting we did? I don't think so. So, we've got a new little Scout, Rover uh, Scout, and uh, it's, it's like one of its lights are on. You see here, Scout light. Uh, her off. Huh. Ah, look at that. He added a new one. So I'll include those and head those and perimeter those. All right, there we go. And so now scout perimeter and let's get those lights turned off. All right, there we go. So got that lined up. So anyway, now we're on our way uh, back through a little pass there where it says, uh, UVEG uh, slope. We're headed for that because there's a slope over there that we can go down. Oop, <laughs> That's where the other uh, supply cache was. Sorry, Hero. RIP Hero. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get just over that rise and there's a slope down into a valley area that can take us across a, a canyon floor kind of thing and back over to that other station. Now, the reason we're doing that is the other station, I believe, has, um, oops, sorry, hero, has, um, stop kind of fast there, has ores. We're hoping it has uranium now, it did before, because uranium is the one major thing we're missing now. Platinum, yes, but we've been able to get little bits of platinum from elite uh, tools that we buy and disassemble, so that hasn't been too bad. But uranium is something we've been lacking completely, and since we can't uh, find them on planet, and we are not yet assured that we're allowed to mine them from asteroids. I have a feeling that's still off limits uh, because Ember, of course, is doing operations out there and uh, could make a fuss about it uh, to the Alliance. We're gonna try to keep from stirring things up. Now here's where we can tend to have some trouble because going down the hill like this, we will pick up a lot of speed. We'll try to keep our speed reasonable. So anyway, we're going to have to go with just buying uranium from the Alliance uh, outposts and stations. So we're hoping they have some for sale. They did before, and uh, they usually do it like in a rotation, I think. All right, I'm going to take kind of an odd path here. There we go. Okay, let's 
take it easy now. It all looks smooth, smooth sailing, but as we found out on several occasions, sometimes like that magnesium boulder we had before, there's some of these boulders that we think ember is camouflaging to the point that you can't see them until it's too late. So we're going to take it really easy through here, knowing that this would be a perfect spot to sabotage someone or to set someone up for a, an accident. So I'm going to go open up and see there's a boulder right there that looks in full view, but at night it's a little difficult to see. Battery's at 33% now, Hero, so it looks like getting the hydrogen, hydrogen engine functioning is helping out there. And we have a little bit of juice in the, in the cargo ship. I can turn that last battery on to auto if we needed it. Okay, let's see. Can you tell which is the best path up here? I'm going to go to the right, to the left. It's, just, it's hard to tell. I'll keep going straight and veer off to the right. Um, do you have the GPS that says uh, S-O-E-X slope? Yeah, but that's behind us, right? Nope, should be uh, directly in front of you. Uh, the slope is behind me. I'm five five kilometers away from it now. Let me uh, share, because I have one for each side. Let me share it again. Ah. Uh, so there's two slopes. Yep, there's one, uh, you know, one on each end that way. Hopefully, it'll make it easier for us. Oh, I see. Hold on. So, uh, so one's the one on the SOEX side, and one's on the UBG side. Okay. I see. I figure we'll be using this path a few times, so. I'm sure, we will. Might as well uh, get those markers. Okay. I see. You said uh, SOEX slope, and I, I thought you were referring to the last GPS you gave me. I should be going. smooth sailing all the way over. Uh, sands, invisible boulders. No, that's right. <laughs> invisible icebergs. Oh, what was that? Another boulder? Uh, I'm not sure. A tree. Um, A tree. Uh, access denied in Doc's locker. Do I have anything that's damaged here? Nothing damaged. Okay. Alright, well, let's just... But we're going to hit another tree. Good grief. Invisible trees. Invisible boulders. Surrounded by ember. Ah, uh, they're actually behind us mostly now. There'll be a little bit of a dip here. Let's see if I can take a path that's a little less of a rise. At night, this looks like it's burnt out forest. Oh, no, this All the uh, real dark ground, but it's green and lush. It's definitely the, the Sahara out here. 37% now on the battery, so that's good. Probably burning through the hydrogen, though. It's not optimal. Yeah, we're down to 66% in the hydrogen tank, so I'll, uh, I'll shut down the engine before we get below 50. How's our batteries? Uh, batteries are at 37 percent now. Oh, here's another rise. Let's see if we can get around it here. I've got an unknown signal. Kind of up to the right a little bit. So after, after a little bit I'll stop and go pick it up wait till it lands. Okay, I'm grab that. Okay, here I come. Anything good? Uh, a little money. A little money amongst a few other things. Nothing uh, earth-shattering, though. Like, subscriber, get off my lawn!